God, I'm so happy I watched all those YouTube videos telling me to run the long distances in order to strengthen my tendons to jump. What are you doing? I'm running distance to jump higher. No, sprint. Hey man, are your knees hurting? Yeah. And why are you still trying to jump? I was told you have to jump as much as possible. Not if your knees hurting, man. Try this. Go really slow, just to a quarter squat. Now go back up. Oh. See how good that feels? Euphoric. One of the most common mistakes I see when guys are trying to jump higher is that they don't know how to train through injuries. The secret to long-term progress, to be able to make progress 5, 10, even 15 years down the line, is to continue training even when you're hurt. The trick is to know what to do and when to do it. That way you can get healthier and keep making progress. Stop. Butt back, arch your back. Like that? Yeah. Oh! There we go. I really feel that. The next mistake that I see commonly is guys don't obsess enough about technique in the weight room. Hey man, you look really tired. Yeah, I'm a little fatigued today. Yeah, you didn't sleep very well either. And you're trying to have a session right now? Well, yeah, gotta put in the work. That is off, right? If you want to jump higher, you need to have good quality jump sessions. Max intent, max everything. Drink this. What is that? Coffee. It's got caffeine in it. You don't need, just need water? Nah, man. Do you feel that? What is that? Go. Holy shit. One of the biggest mistakes I see guys making is they don't take caffeine before jump sessions. You want to have really high quality jump sessions to make progress. Caffeine is one of the few things that have been shown extensively in research to actually make someone jump higher consistently time and time again. Make sure to drink caffeine, you'll jump higher and plyo will self intensify so the higher you jump, the more progress you're going to make. Why are you doing that exercise? I'm trying to jump higher. <laughs> My friend, let me show you what I actually do. Oh, okay. So a really common mistake guys are making is they're doing certain exercises with the expectation that those exercises are the key for them to jumping higher. These are things like tib raises, Nordic hamstring curls, training the hip flexors. You want to choose exercises that work the prime movers of jumping and preferably big compound movements like squat, deadlifts, cleans. Those are the things that are gonna move the needle the most in terms of progressing you to jump higher. Now you don't wanna create a ton of imbalances so other exercises do have their place. Just don't do them with the expectation that they are the secret to jumping higher and running faster and being more athletic. All right, so yesterday I did legs, heavy legs, plyos the, the day prior. Today I'll have a bench press. No, should I? No, I shouldn't practice dunking because my form's so bad. I think if I get my weight up in the weight room and continuously do plyometrics, I should be able to jump higher without dunking. Then I'll be able to dunk. Okay, so we'll do bench. Stop. Stop. Get the ball and dunk. If you want, if you to, want get to get better, better at dunking, dunking. dunk. dunk. If, you if you want to, want jump, to higher, jump higher, jump. jump. Like, jump? Yes. yes. Like right now? Yes. yes. You haven't, you haven't dunked, dunked in three, three weeks. weeks. That is too long. Like, like this? Like, just dunk? Yes. Don't you feel yourself getting better already? <laughs> Third mistake guys are making when they're trying to jump higher is they're not having enough dedicated dunk sessions or jump sessions. It's the law of specificity. If you want to improve at something, you got to do more of the thing that you're trying to improve. What the hell are you doing? Pick right. the bar up. Okay. Go hard. Go hard. High intent, baby. Let's go. High intent. Harder. Do another Faster. one. Faster. Let me go. Come on. Come on. Fourth mistake guys make when they're trying to jump higher is not having enough intent in their power movements. This can be anything from a hang clean to a power clean to a jump squat to even jumping to even dunking. So when you're doing power movements, go 110%. All right, 10, 110, 110. Yeah. It's a good day to lift and not warm up whatsoever. Stop! Do your ISOs first. Isometric? Oh, 
one of the biggest mistakes guys make is they don't do isos before any time they lift or they jump. This is gonna decrease your knee pain, decrease the risk of aggravating your knee if you don't have knee pain. And it's overall just a good warm up if you're gonna do any knee extension movement or any calf exercise. Do your isos. Austin, is that Austin Burke? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I used to watch your videos all the time. What happened to you? I'm well, we just taking a little break from training. Nothing happened. Okay. You need help? Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, the last mistake that people make if they're trying to jump higher is they take breaks from training. You wanna be as consistent as possible, never miss workouts, it doesn't matter if you're hurt, if you're going on vacation, do at least something every single day that's gonna push you closer towards your goals or you'll end up like, like Austin. <laughs> hey man, you don't look like you're having fun. Just getting old, I'm doing the same stuff, the same dunks, the same jumps. You've been stuck at the same point for a while, not being able to dunk? Yeah. Have you ever tried lowering the rim? You can do that? Yeah, man. Here, let me show you. Wow, what do I do now? Dunk it. Wow. That was so much fun! Keep practicing on here. It doesn't matter if you're feeling fatigued, you're gonna have a great time dunking. And if you're having a great time, you're gonna keep making progress. I haven't had that much fun since foster care. See? Wow, I learned so much today. And if you learned at least one thing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, sign up at THP Strength. I forgot the words. And most importantly, sign up for a call on thpstrength.com. Let's see the shirt, turn around, let's see it. Ooh. Damn, girl, where'd you yeah. get that? I'm glad you asked. You can get yours at dunkersparadise.com, or if you sign up for coaching, we'll send you one for free. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. No distance running for jumping higher. <laughs>